Hello everybody, welcome back to Game of Muscle YouTube channel and welcome to the VIP Cupra 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 Super Cupra Super Cupra race. We are gonna be driving against the fastest most talented in list Cupra drivers in the world in race room. Uh unfortunately I am the slowest and least talented front wheel drive car driver so uh, <laughs> I'm not expecting a good result but uh, it should be entertaining hopefully we'll see how it goes we've uh, we're on a practice server here get things set up and going hello hello uh, Jack GRT Jack Jack Raul Jack Jack Ollie, Paul, you, Joshua. Hello, guys. Right. Should be. This is gonna be, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> it's gonna be very interesting here, guys. Do we drive a Cooper with a Formula rim? I think I might do. Oh, front wheel drive. <laughs> oh, no. Look at that. Nice sound. I need to get the oval rim in here. I'm going to have to rebar my buttons, but we'll do it. Oh, good sounds. Never driven this car before, guys. <laughs> Always turn up to events with no practice. That's what I say. Oh, it's got some tug to it. Oh, well, good audio. Whee! It's like a screaming banshee. Oh, good force feedback. Well, I think we're all right, guys. It sounds like a rally car. <laughs> I think we're all right. We're going to be all right. This handle's all right. This handle's all right. That we're okay. Any car that sounds like a rally car, you saw it. <laughs> Finding out the limits here, guys. If you watch my video, first thing to do in any race car, give it a woggle squoggle. See what you can do. Front wheel drive, obviously, you can just put your foot on the accelerator to bail it out. We should be okay. We should be okay. I'm going to put the other wheel rim on. We need to change the camera angle here. I'm uh, I'm optimistic after that. That's it. Car <laughs> car review complete. That car is definitely Schmidt for sure. Let's get the correct wheel rim on, and then let's rebind the buttons, as is tradition. Or maybe <laughs> oh no. You don't have to do it if you're in the car. It's when you start the game up. Okay. We're learning. Learning race room. Force feedback. Let's turn it up. He needs to react to chat. We need to move the camera. See, 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 see. Mirror, see. I mean, I kind of want to be able to see the display there. We'll just... What was the button, guys, to be able to rem to move the objects on your dash? Is it K? No. Control. Is it Control K? What's the race room shortcut? I am live. <laughs> guys, can you can you remember? Is it Control I? No. Control L. No. L K. No. I'm sure it was K. Is it Shift K, maybe? No. 
Guys, what's the button to move? Alt L. There you go. <laughs> what? Control L, maybe. Well, I can't get my mouse cursor on screen. Alt F4. Ha ha ha. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't seem to be able to get it on the screen. Okay, I'll check the controls. Meatballs and combine harvesters. Should I do that? <laughs> right, there we go. sign oh you'll like this car random we have oscillation here Oscillation. Okay, we have to break sooner for that. Ow. Oversteer, lift off oversteer. Whee! This sounds like my washing machine when I put too much in it. Oh man, you've got to get the speed right for the corner, otherwise, you're going sliding. I have this steering sensitivity off on purpose. Although, actually, I don't need to in this car. That's a good point. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like an elephant. Is he clearing? Uh... Uh, they've done a really good job with this car, guys. This is, this is really solid. I hate front-wheel drive cars as well. Hey, 
Okay. Does not slow down though. <laughs> do anything on this car. Got a baby elephant stuck in the boot. Oh, we're going to be slow because I, I can't drive front wheel drive cars. It's all back to front. It's like you got to wait. You go away, you go away, you go away. I don't understand it. The rear don't pop out as much as the Clio. And it doesn't have as much grip, great speed as the Clio. The low speed grip is really low on this. It's better tyres. <laughs> is that Jardier pushing us along? Tires. Base hand is nice. Oh, I need more grip from the tires. <laughs> Pushes through the track. Corner. 
Yeah, I think the elephants, uh, it doesn't help with the braking, does it? Like, come on. The thing is, it's ABS, it, so it doesn't even... 100% uh, brake pressure. You just have to brake really early. bit like uh, it's, it doesn't have like low speed grip oh <laughs> uh, yeah but I, I, it just doesn't slow down though does it i want the back to come out on the brakes i want to be like dancing the car this car's got, I, I feel like i'm i have to use my feet to slow this down put them out the window hello adam woodford There's nothing we can do. Yeah, we can break early, but that's not the point. Too stable. <laughs> Use handbrake. Ah, it's a good idea. I, I've got. I've, I've moved the brake bias back already. Ah, oh, to rebind the buttons. got uh, real uh, drivers in here. The fastest drivers and real world drivers and game of slow muscle. And that is a uh, fixed setup. It's a front-wheel drive car. The problem is, the problem is, it's a front-wheel drive car, and, and you know, it's the, the, the power is coming from the wrong place. You don't. You have the back of the car driving the vehicle along, not the front. The engineers made a boo-boo. <laughs> silly, silly engineers. You're meant to have the power from behind the car, not in front of it. It's an easy mistake to make, though. Lots of people have done it. Wrong wheel drive. you do that? <laughs> I think uh, I think we should they should ban front wheel drive ABS 
Trash your control. I'm, 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 I'm okay with trash your control. This is way better to drive than the I race in uh, TCR, though. car doesn't have any uh, push to pass or anything, does it? Or does it? These cars often have PPs on them. Does this guy have PP? Hello, Pixel Therapy. nice it's just it's just got the same problem that all front wheel drive cars have and this is a it's a good simulated version of the car though I'd, I'd like the tires to be a bit more a little bit more grip from the tires a little bit more bite from them other than that and that's my personal preference. I think it'd make it more enjoyable to drive. It's like the grip curve is too um, smooth. Like it, it feels as if I'm driving on a uh, slight, very slightly damp track. Do you know what I mean? Uh, it's a little bit, the grip's just a little bit vague. I, I, I think I just generally like uh, cars to be uh, snappy. As snappy as possible, but with a, a forgiving, uh, well not a forgive, forgiving limit, but like a, a limit you can play. As grippy and snappy as possible, but with a limit where you can hold the cars at the limit. So as, <laughs> as snappy as possible, but with that limit, and I'm happy. Try eating it into the turns. Could do. Okay, I, I yeeted it a bit too soon there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Was that a yeet enough for you? Oh, it's all right. It's a nice car, though. Way better than the... Uh, the TCI and I racing. Well, because I I don't break from the brake points on the track. I break from the feel of the car. But this car didn't have much brake feel. The uh, sensitivity is really high on the on my wheel. Um, so no, I'm talking about the innate grip of the tyres.
do, 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 do. I think we're going to go to another the other server in a minute. Uh, I you I will use a break point when I know when I've got a feel for the car. I'd like to have a feel for cars. Like I drive from feel because it's why would you not? It's like what this, there's no point in sim racing unless you're driving from feel. Like it's just otherwise you're just doing some like mundane. Oh, I've lost my mouse here. Otherwise you're just doing like a mun mundane task. Once I've got a feel for the car, then I'll go for break points. Once you have a general feel for a car, you're like, well, you know how long it takes to slow down from what speed. So, you know, then obviously brake points are a good thing to do and a good thing to have. But you should have a good, good general idea of what you've got to play with. Um, Let's set up. <laughs> YouTube mundane task YouTube. Hey, there's nothing mundane about this channel. Need to get the uh, break by setting pop my bottom box here. Can't I find the uh, Not when I'm driving CB. When I'm driving, it's slow in, slow out. <laughs> it's slow. It's slow, slow. I drive like a like a like a sloth. Slot videos. Oh, behind that to avoid us there.
Is that Jordi? B. Dixon. Just let him go past. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll be. If we don't finish last, I. That's all we need. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, next session. I am literally the world's slowest front wheel drive car driver. <laughs> oh, I was on the right server. Fantastic. I believe the uh, their stream has begun. The official stream. Check everything that we're on the right stuff here. Oh, yeah, so we're all like, no server changing required. Perfect. Click that like button, guys, if you uh, find front wheel drive cars really difficult to drive. There's no setup tweaks, unfortunately. Here we go. Qualifying. <clears throat> see how this uh, see how this works out. Turn up with an 80s Formula One car. This is uh, this has been live streamed on uh, with commentary on the race room channel. Go there, watch the external view commentary to see uh, a bold man driving around slowly. Let's see if we can uh, <laughs> if we can beat the real drivers. That'd be nice. Cupra.
a bit more lift off oversteer would be nice. What are you doing? It's a qualifying lap. There's a car coming into the final corner. <laughs> just <laughs> he just vaguely drives across, so I can't tell where to go. Who's that? T. Beck, your drunk driver. <laughs> Jesus. I got an okay-ish lap then. I couldn't work out to go right or left. <laughs> Oh well, it's probably lost. You're going to want to get a draft for the quali. <laughs> I was concentrating, I got a, a relatively good flow for it. Oh well. Hello! Very much operation don't come last. <laughs> Am I good? Uh, I'm, I'm driving in a straight line. Is everyone in a queue because they're all trying to draft each other? They're <laughs> it's to get the draft, isn't it? Because you can't do a you can't do a quality lap without the draft with Spa in this type of vehicle. So everyone's what are they doing? Uh, is everyone waiting? They're all they're all waiting to get the draft. No one wants to be in front. <laughs> Surely that's what's going on here. It's like a flock of seagulls only cars. It was, it, everyone's trying to get the chips. What's he doing? Like, what's going on here? Is there some like why, why is everyone going to the pits? What's going on? I don't know what's going on. I'm confused. Is there something I need to know that I'm missing here? They're all just waiting to draft. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, I don't know why those other guys go into the pit. I don't, I, I don't know what's going on. I don't. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Why is it, no? The rule just stopped. Yeah, I mean, I get the they get the drafting, but why did those other guys go to the pit? That's what I didn't get. Oh well.
What is going on? Throttle, throttle, throttle! Hem, 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 hem,
Okay. Guys, nice. does this car not have ABS? I thought this car had ABS. Oh, no ABS, okay. It locked up, so. Yeah, well, here we go, start from the back. You can watch this uh, com with commentary on the other channels. It doesn't lock up easily though, that's the thing. Hang on, warm up for race one. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> well, you say that, Azaris, but then they're not they're not real wheel drive, so. Mm. Oh, hello, thanks for subscribing, Jacko van der Marwi. Appreciate that. Welcome to our second stream of today. Kapla! <laughs> Oh, wow. Well. It doesn't really matter. I mean, these are not my these are not my cup of tea. I think the car seems fine, though, in race I think uh, it's a nice job of the vehicle. I've only ever liked... Um, I've only ever liked the Clio Cup. And uh, there was a front-wheel drive car in race 07. I can't remember what it was. That was there was... Some, some of the cars in race and race G, uh, race GTR Evolution that were front wheel drive that I quite enjoyed. Mission not fi finished last year. I'm gonna, hello, Boo. <laughs> Good luck. I'm gonna need. Uh, I'm gonna need it. We try and stay positive through this race. <laughs> we're gonna get beaten. It's gonna be like drowning in quicksand. I prepared myself. The poison. Hello, man. As I say, guys, don't forget to check it. Check this out on the uh, on the uh, race room channel. I think Cupra are doing this on their channel. This is on all the channels, so you can watch someone drive slowly on every channel, and you can click the like button on this channel if you feel like it. No, it's a uh, attack helicopter. Thanks, Eagle Cot. Yeah, I did, did, did 10 minutes practice. It just says warm up for race one. Here we go. I don't know if there's launch control. I haven't set it up. <laughs> so, not in my case, no. In my case, no. Right, here we go, guys. It's all fixed set up here. It's going to be interesting. Apparently, I'm not at the back. Ah, thank you for that. Throttle and clutch. I only use the accelerator. I don't know what the other pedals do. I don't know. I should have got the Fanatec V1 pedals where you don't get, you just get an accelerator. Drive it like a uh, Dodger. Oh, shit, this should be interesting. I like how in driving sims, you know, when you move the throttle and the engine loads up. The engine talk, the talk of the all the mechanics actually moves the vehicle. Here we go, guys! <laughs> I'm gonna die. Thanks, car behind.
Nice driving, guys. <laughs> 13 incidents into T1. Well, that was interesting. I got rammed from behind and then guy front punched away through. That's a TCR start. I, I was being shunted. I couldn't do anything. through the corner. What's that about? Is this being televised? <laughs> I think someone said it was. Don't know where. Sports one. <laughs> Imagine. What I don't get again here. Why is it that people can qualify relatively well, and then as soon as you get in the race, they, I, I don't understand the difference. Don't get it. Why there's so much of a difference there. We're, we're, we're doing all right, actually. Cars to get the draft. <laughs> sure. Oh, fair enough. Guy's gonna wreck us, isn't he? Good stay in second gear through them. Oh, 
Well, this ain't gonna end well. Might as well let him through and then try and retake him down the straight and use his draft to catch up with the car in front. Hopefully. a lot of time on that. understeer with a front wheel drive car and you can't balance and throttle your way out of it. You're just stuck in it. You need all the wine. Kind of wall there. What's happened? Lucky mate. so slow through that, I don't know why. I'm really slow through the slow corners. I'm not sure if I'm meant to chuck it in more because that'll carry more momentum, but then the fronts don't seem to bite. You can't feel the amount through the force feedback to know how much to give it. I don't drive by lines, I drive by feel. No, I, I just need to be able to feel it. Someone could say, oh, you know, you need to take this line, you need to break in and do that. It doesn't make, it doesn't make any difference. Like, if, you can't, if I can't feel it, I, I, I just drive by what the car's telling me. <laughs> through the force feedback. If I can't feel it, it's not well. It's just what I used to drive. I find with visuals, it's like it's happened too late. If you're seeing the car scrubbing out, well, it's too late. With a with a front-wheel drive car. It means you've gone into the corner or done something too much too early, so it's too late, you can't do anything. You're playing catch up at that point. The Magan Trophy's awesome, but that's rear wheel drive. Same, similar shape to the Magan Trophy, this.
two more likes. What, are they just getting wrecked? Woo 100 likes, bro. Thank you, guys. through those corners. Hundred dislikes, go. Turn him down for next race. I'd like to get in the overtake zone here. I'm... Normally, in sim racing, I gain my time on the accelerator. I lose time on braking. But I gain it on accelerate because I'm good at balancing the car and the throttle. So front wheel drive cars, I lose all my time on the accelerator because I, it just doesn't make sense. Can't feel how much, how much, like you get the torque steer and everything. I can't feel how much I can put the throttle on in it that's a useful thing. The thing is, is that typically all the simulators do the rear of the car force feedback really well through your steering wheel so you can tell if you're putting too much throttle on because the back's popping out you don't get that in front wheel drive cars this Good line through there. I like the audio in Rage Room. I, I don't know why uh, but people seem to complain about the stuff that doesn't bother me. <laughs> all, all that bothers me in games is uh, can I feel the car? If I can feel the car, I'm happy. I'm probably like the worst, worst person to review driving sims. Does it get a good frame rate? Can I feel the car? 10 out of 10. Oh, grass. Has it got grass? Maybe I should get emotion. Like, the, the reason I got into sim racing was because of force feedback devices. <laughs> That's why I sim race. Maybe I should get emotion ring. Yeah, race, race is called Race On. It was a console version of Race 07. <laughs> Put most of rig and donation goal. They're like £8,000. It's kind of like stupid, stupid money. I'd rather save money than spend it on a motion rig. It's more important things in life than motion rigs. Mm. Undergame, thank you for subscribing, appreciate that. Welcome to the channel, man. The 
what these guys are doing that's getting them they're taking a wider line into it they're breaking in a straight line wide and then then using the straightness of the car to accelerate better down through there that's where i'm losing time on that Do I get a drive-through penalty? <laughs> Cutting that corner. Outside the draft here because we have a similar pace. This guy. Uh, depth of field realities. Uh, it, that, that's. If it's the one I'm thinking of, it's crap. <laughs> it's using the wrong. It's the wrong way of. It's the wrong approach. For the price spec that it like, it's not a good way of doing for uh, motion. Try the wider line. What you want, uh, the individual actuators on four points of your sim rig. Cannot do um, one of those hexy motion things or six, de six degrees of movement um, fast enough or with enough depth to the movement without spent without like going mental or or without having another an additional fifth motor just for the back of it like the PT. You don't want crazy motion anyway. You just need the four actuators on the... Or even two are not too bad, actually. I've, I've sat in most motion rigs and... To be honest, you, like, you just want... Like, even the three actuators, because they... They don't give you that much more information to drive from. It's more that they just give you a sensation of uh, the suspension travel, heave, um, and some things, but they they don't really give you that much more to drive from. That all comes from the steering wheel. The uh, force feedback wheel, a di direct drive force feedback wheel, is the only device that can give you really high resolution information from the sim that's um, in time with the sim. Butt kick is good for immersion, yeah. They don't really, they don't tell you, they don't give you they help you drive better, but they help you immerse you better. 
But butt kickers are more just track vibrations and stuff. Well, reverse grid coming up, guys. That, you know, we didn't come last. I think if we hadn't have uh, been so far away at the start, it would have been better. I'm just going to... I'm going to... Pit stop, guys. Pit stop. Back in a second. Hopefully I don't miss the start of the next race because we're starting at the front. That'd be embarrassing. Be interested to see how this next race goes. Steve Connolly, it, it does, but only after you've gone over the limit. You can set them up to vibrate to different levels to give some stuff, but it's not the right kind of thing to, to drive from. It's like it's more like, oh well, it's more like you can feel that the car's gone over the limit, but it's like, well, that's it's too late then. Race two. Hello, Martez. It was earlier. Thanks everyone that's clicked the like button here. Appreciate it. Uh, sound helps for like tire scrub for sure. Um, there you go, guys. Sound helps for tire scrub, but it doesn't. You, you need you need the force feedback. Like there's nothing else that's quick enough and analogous to real world like G load and feel of what you feel in a real car. A force feedback, a direct drive force feedback wheel is the only device capable of doing sustained and varying um, forces like that. I mean, I get. I guess you could have a, a, a seat that does like a G seat that pushes on you with paddles but the resolution of them is like it's nothing compared to what you get from a direct drive wheel so this is why it's you know you can you, you can get so much out of direct drive wheels and a lot of the games don't fully utilize what they can offer Uh, they did, David, but they're missing out on, like, a crucial part of if you drive from field, it, you know. Uh, well, yeah, direct drive wheels have come down a lot in price, though. They, they used to be, like, four or five thousand pounds. Now you can get one for cheapest ones are like, eight hundred pounds. Uh, Steve Connolly, that, that's not... The seat mover's not too bad because from your perception of the person on the seat mover... It uh, feels like G-forces. If you're when you're driving a real car, the G-forces push you. You're moving and the steering wheel staying still, so it, it's not that un, it's not that different from a seat mover in terms of relative movement and forces. So it actually works surprisingly well as long as you don't set the seat mover to move too much. If it moves too much, then it, it's absurd. But if you have it only moving a bit. The, the only problem with the seat mover is um, you you lose heave they, unless you add a separate actuators. But seat movers just go forwards, backwards, left and right. Well, left and right. They uh, you don't get up and down heave, so you don't you don't get the realistic feeling of suspension travel. Uh, 
Uh, Nutella, bro, those those already exist. There's videos of them. F1 drivers use them to train with on their... There's a couple of rigs that do them. There's some that are just passive, but there's, there's active ones as well. Uh, DD wheels aren't that expensive if you buy like an OSW. But the, uh, the 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 price of a DD wheel is because it's you've got a, like a giant servo motor, uh, an electronic control box. The drivers have to be programmed for it, and then they're only going to be sold to like five thousand people, or ten thousand people, hundred thousand people. With like a G25, uh, T300, they're sold to like. 100, 200, 300,000 people. So it's, you know, maybe, maybe possibly a million, two million people over the lifetime from when the product's conceived. So. Right, here we go. Let's see if we can hold on to this. Nice to start there. Mate, you can't just push me onto the grass. Guys is so aggressive. racing going on here. Fake a left, we're gonna go at the right. Okay, that was an illegal move. That was total murder. Guys, that was terrible. <laughs> I almost flipped his car. That was so, <laughs> so That was so bad. That was so bad. <laughs> kind of Kapla! Welcome to Klingon Driving. <laughs> so bad. Oh, that was so bad. That was such a takedown. I, f I think I flipped him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, I, I was kind of thinking they're driving aggressive, so I'll break a bit later. <laughs> Textbook overtake, guys. I got through the corner perfectly legally. I don't know why he didn't catch it. <laughs> that was the worst, worst move in the history of moves. I, 
I have to dial the aggression in. I've got to find the middle ground. <laughs> that was so bad, guys. That wasn't even like... That was totally indefensible. All this eSport racing has destroyed me. Mm. Hello, guys. Welcome to uh, Game of Muscle Kills People on Servers. Ah! What a donation! Absolute beast donation! Are you sure you want to be in front of me here? <laughs> I have a bit of a reputation on these corners. What is the motive behind this demand? Necessity. Necessity for money. I'm not Thank supplying you. money for necessities. You know you're on the right channel when tire degradation is made of rich tea biscuit. Crumbs. Thank you for that. Really appreciate super generous donation. Super, super generous. Man, that was such a bad pun on that guy. Yeah, he just skipped the chicane, but I don't know if he's got a penalty or not. Seems like you just you do have to just punt your way Brothers, through. Brothers, that. Brothers. Using other drivers as a brake pedal is within the rules of TC. Thanks, uh, thanks, Chris Fox. Really generous, man. Oh my God. Tw Hang on. Do <laughs> you get auto kicked if you have more than thirty incidents? We just lost four places through being punted past, like. I don't know what you're supposed to do. I mean, I'm not... My pump was mental, but... I dial it back down a bit, and we're literally just totally punted to get past, and then you can't do anything. Take on this there. Chardier is going to regret being in front of us, I think. Trying, I can get him the uh, knocks, which lo we're losing speed. turned in there, would have totally smashed us. I need grenades instilled on the side of the vehicle.
hang on. Are we being pushed? I don't, I don't know why the car's not gripping there. The tyre's going off a bit. I, re I really don't know what aggression level is suitable for this sort of racing. That's, that's the thing, it's like, in, the, in I mean, I'm slow as well. <laughs> I am slow, so these guys are trying to get past. I'm not having a go at these guys. I'm just, the, the thing that is difficult is trying to work out what's an, access, what's an acceptable aggression rating. Like, in these esports races we've been doing, the aggression has been worse than public service. <laughs> so it's like... It does seem like that. Game of days behind us. it's the nature of front wheel drive racing is that you might as well as the car on the inside you might as well just did like what you might as well do that that in my mind the move i did there that's an illegal move but you might as well just do that i think that to me that's crap racing <laughs> to me i just punted that guy that shouldn't be a legal move Because you, you're just like, it's entirely like dependent on the net code and all these other aspects rather than like raw driving. See, you just, you just barge your way through. <laughs> so, so on this corner, I just do, I do the same back to him then. I just wait for him to break. I break a bit later. I go up the inside, barge him off the track. That's it. That's that's a legal overtake. Or not in that case, because he managed to come back on. But he's then gone off the track. It's, <laughs> it just seems it just seems a bit stupid. get a DQ.
Well, yeah, I mean, it, but it's really hard to know the acceptable amount. I mean, we've done like, when we, you know, when we play AC or Project Cars 2, we've, we've had like really close front wheel drive, you know, door banging. We've had very close racing and you do get leaning on the cars, but it's not, it's not literal. You're not like missing the break point on purpose to bang the car in front to then overtake them. That to me is, that's an illegal overtake, even in front wheel drive. But that's how literally all the overtakes in this seem to be that. It, unless you have a, you'd have to have a steward that says, that is an illegal overtake. So don't do it. And then as long as people don't do it, then you, then you know. But if as soon as you allow it, well, everyone might as well do it to overtake. necessarily bumping it all, all, my point is is I don't know what the acceptable level is <laughs> like I don't if you've ever watched BTCC it's full on mental ramming in the real racing if if that's like if that's within the rules then that's fine you know that those are the rules you're playing in I'm just saying it's it, I just don't know you you know it's, it seems in these race room esports events that it's much more acceptable to be to, to bump into people than in other stuff I've done. Which you know, that's just that's just what the rules are, that's fine, but you, you just have to be aware of that when you're doing it, you know? It's like um, it's like GT Sport. You watch the GT Sport finals, there's banging and punting and that all the time. It's like, well, if that's in the rules, it's in the rules, it, it, it's fine. Well, yeah, then I'm not fast in this car, so obviously I'm holding people up so they've got to overtake. I'm, I'm not talking about that. You know, obviously it's annoying overtaking a slower driver and with front wheel drive cars and uh, this sort of spec car, you, you have to push your way through a bit. My, my point is just with, it's, it's difficult to know was acceptable and was not acceptable. That's that's all I'm saying. later but now I'm gonna get the speed off.
I'm not changing lane four times, though. Oh, you say... Oh, I don't know what you're saying. I just don't get front-wheel drive cars. It's don't... Don't make sense to me. <laughs> Other than the Clio car. <laughs> How many instances can you have to get a DQ? I think the other thing as well is I, f I feel like to drive this car quick, you want to be like delicate with it. It's very hard to be delicate when you're ev everyone's smashing into each other. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's not, don't make sense to me. <laughs> French people. Oh, what a, what a punishment. I don't think we were last last. We'll have a look at the results here. Nice job to the guys that did well. T Heineman, C Pontu, B Bakit Mankey. Oh look, we weren't we weren't last. <laughs> we were pretty close to it, but we weren't totally last. Yeah, there's Robin. There's Robin's totally fine. I'm, I'm all for Robin. This it's just like well, we we'll watch the replay. I murdered uh, I murdered someone, so I mean I can't talk. I literally killed someone. Robin is flirting. Russell Man drive. We didn't come last. Oh, man, it's just... Uh, it's just not intuitive to me. Not intuitive. Well, we'll have a look. We can have a review of the replay. I'm not sure what... Uh, Oh, that's it. That's it. Hopefully I didn't ruin anyone's race with my uh, shenanigans. Delete all front-wheel drive cars. Probably a good idea. Let's watch the replay. I mean, that punt was terrible. I mean, I can't complain about anything. After that punt, anything I say is banned. Ban everything I say. <laughs> that was literally the worst punt I've ever done, ever, in anything. That was that that is that was honestly the worst punt in the history of my uh, sim racing life. I I think from I I my thing is I think if I had better feel through the through the force feedback for front wheel drive cars, um and there's innate grip there I I I would really enjoy them like if there's lots of lift off oversteer, there's lots of low speed grip. And you've got the f really nice uh, graduated force feedback for how much grip you have on the fronts through the whole range of the, of the slip. I think I'll be fine. What typically happens with driving sims with front-wheel drive cars is a lot of them are just completely understeer all the time. A lot of them don't have much lift-off oversteer. This car, this car did actually have quite good lift-off oversteer, um, and a lot of them don't don't have the depth in the force feedback because it's like the, the sims feel like you've gone over the limit, like the torque steer and everything just makes the force feedback go really vague. I think that's why I get on with the Clio Cup in Pro in Project Cars 2, because I think the force feedback in Project Cars 2 actually works quite well uh, with, with that Clio Cup car for letting you feel what the tyres are doing, like especially through the corners. Yeah, I'd imagine in real life you'd... Well, I've sat in the front-wheel drive car, not as a driver, but as a passenger, and you can feel it. You can feel exactly what the car's doing. It's really obvious. You can feel the uh, the fronts like starting to wash out and stuff. 
I've been a, a few front wheel drive cars that like around racetracks. Right. <laughs> Criminal investigation here, guys. <laughs> Okay, so... There's not enough space on the right here for that guy to fit through there. He got a better start. <laughs> that was a bit of a block. But what's he going to do if he got through... If he'd got through there... I, I was late on my defence there, so... You know, fair enough. But it's, it was legal, but I was late on my defence. But what's this guy going to do once he's got through that? If he'd got through there, what's he going to do? Ah, <laughs> uh, you know. I was too slow on my defence there. It was, it was a block. I should have I should have pulled over sooner. It, 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 was, it was legal, but too late. That was all right. Really nice car model. So I got a really good line through there. Car behind me manages to drive into me. <laughs> to his detriment. He's right. Here we go. S stop. So first first incident, right? It, I've got there's car space here. I'm all my wheels are on the track. We're like we're on the road there. We're already side by side with this guy. Right, here we go. We've already got our nose whilst we're on the track. That's fine. I mean it that that's classed as it. So right, this is fine. This is all good. He turns right into us. <laughs> Forcing us onto the grass, which then obviously you're losing a ton of speed. But you know, I mean, Once you're already by the side of a car, you can't turn into it. But whatever, it's only mild. <laughs> Got a poke from behind there. <laughs> Another what? What is that? What's that orange car doing? <laughs> He's just completely missed his brake point and understeered into that car. He's I'm I'm taking as tight a line as you can pretty much. I'm basically I'm taking an illegal line into that corner to try and avoid an accident. And even with me taking an illegal line, this car behind us, he's coming into the corner sideways using S Stolk as a as a way to get through the corner. <laughs> it's like what? Like I, I mean once you'd like say, okay, that's that's within the, that's fine, it's within the rules. It's like, well, do that on every corner there. <laughs> like, <laughs> More bombs and will. What happened to him? What happened to Gaming Dave? Hang on a minute. This this system's uh Oh, 
Oh, he, he missed, uh, I think he missed the break point. Well, I'm not sure what happened. I think the car in front lifted off and uh, Damon Ga Dave, Dave, Gaming Dave accidentally drove into the back of him. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> Damon K. <laughs> Sounds like a Cardassian <laughs> from Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Damon Gave. Go, go, Gave. <laughs> oh no, is this where we... <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> oh no! I mean, based off the other stuff in the race. <laughs> oh no. You know... Based off, based off what we'd seen earlier, that was perfectly legal. <laughs> Set him into the other... He almost flipped that car over. Oh, dear. Right. <laughs> such a bad, such a stupid move I did. I totally missed the brake point. This car's brakes are crap. My driving's terrible. It's the worst combination. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, look at me coming from like coming from three tracks away. I'm driving Brands Hatch. Boom! In fairness, he he could have got on his brakes and after doing like my hit was bad. My hit was bad, but the reason it was looked worse was because this guy just acted as if nothing had happened. And he gets on the throttle here. <laughs> why is he? Why is he gone full Dukes of Hazard? <laughs> why? Why? Like you've just been hit by another car. Why does he go? Why does he do that? Let's just make my accident look worse. Because <laughs> for the drivers, it's worse than the original contact. This guy, he's like right. Right, I've just been contacted. I'll hit the gas and I'm going to aim for the driver. Boff! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, look at that. I mean, look, my accident was terrible, but I didn't actually cause the disaster there. This guy took out one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine cars. I only took out one. I took I just took this one guy out. He could have easily have rejoined the track. I ignited the fuse. No, I, I took this one guy. I, I okay. I set the butterfly effect in action. <laughs> but that was his fault. From this point onwards... Right, that was my fault. That was, that's my contribution there. That was... Look, he's now under control of the car. He's got back on the accelerator. From this point onwards... Hang on, the car's behind me are getting wrecked. What's going on there? Oh, he got taken out behind me. Almost. Yeah, so from... Uh, I was guilty here. That was, that was murder. But from this point onwards, this is entirely this guy's fault. I didn't cause him to go full Dukes of Hazard <laughs> into that. that. That was him. That was all he's doing. Also, I cleared the way for me. Good, that was a good takedown. I actually managed to take out cut. I actually managed to take out cars that were in front of me with that move. <laughs> Knocked him out. Yeah, check this out, guys. 
this, this is actually an amazing move because not only do I, I overtake this car, I take this guy out, but through this, I managed to take out cars in front of me that I didn't even contact. Look at that! I took out F, v, 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 F von der Leyden. No, M marks. He's like ten, he's like 15 meters away from me. I cruise missile him. Masterclass bunting. <laughs> hey, buttons. Oh, here we go. Here comes the... The Banky. Ah, that was a good overtake by B Banky. You see, that's how you overtake. Nice job. B Banky, textbook overtake. No trouble from him. He goes up the inside. Nice and nice and easy. Good job, B Banky. Nice, nice job. master plan <laughs> murder our us everyone's poking away at each other hello JR sim racing why oh, there's another pump from him the draft through there that was good that was a good see that was a good overtake by M Lona totally clean absolutely fantastic overtake that's all right oh he got punted off what what did this guy punted him off the track I hope it wasn't me let's go to his car what happened to him yeah um M. Aconza just took him out. I, he did a... See, this guy did a really good overtake on me. Uh, totally clean. Gets in front. I'm on my brakes as well, as late as possible, but managed not to hit him after the embarrassment before. This guy doesn't even break for the corner. He's got all the space on the right. He can, he can go to the right of him, but instead he just ploughs into um, the, the guy that's in front of me. And then the guy in front of me just rejoins the track in front and it doesn't matter because apparently track cuts don't count. <laughs> like, what? What is this? Like... I don't... That's, that's all right. He got the inside. Little bit of contact. He stole another paint. Jardy, I, I'm trying to work out. Right, I killed someone. That's fine. Separate to me murdering someone outright, which is indefensible. I'm trying to work out, like, what is legal with these race room esports races because it seems like it's more... There's there's literally more contact and pushing than than your average wreck fest race in these, get, in these race room esports things. It's mental. No, I'm not even talking about just on me because I'm slow. I expect people to drive into me. I, other drivers that are good drivers and are trying to drive properly... They're getting absolutely smashed all over the place. It's like, what rules are we playing by? It's, it's, it's bonkers. Like, you couldn't drive like this in any other simulator. I mean, it's good that the netcode supports it, but it seems kind of like, well, what are the rules? I can, 
right, so this guy, right. Right, this is all good here, yeah? Right, this is all fine. Where's my car? I've lost myself. Ah, oh, no, I've lost myself. Ah, oh, dear, where, where have we gone? Oh, we want this, right. So this is fine here. Really good, really nice positioning of that car. He brakes better, out brakes better. I'm a bit late on my brakes. Bit of a contact there, but that's normal racing contact. I, I lean on him a bit there, but that's fine. That's all good. This is all fine so far, but he's... I'm squeezing him too much, but he's not going to make the corner, really. And actually, he's, he's actually... Weird that he needs to back out of this, realistically, because he's never going to make the corner. Bearing in mind that he was, he was behind us throughout this whole thing as well. He's never going to make it past us on that line. So he goes, okay. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's the racing line. That, that's, that's it. And there's, there's no penalty. <laughs> there's me causing a huge blockage. Oh, my God. This was terrible by me. I don't, I don't know the rules. This was awful. A bit late on the block there, mate. <laughs> it's me telling. <laughs> it's traffic jam. Ah, oh, that was me being terrible. I, I, I don't know. He didn't get a slowdown or anything. Oh, it's Jardier. Me blocking Jardier like a wall. Jardier did a really good overtake on us. Look, he, see, Jardier's doing the right thing here. He's gone for a sniff up the inside. He knows he, he hasn't got enough speed to get it through there, so he backs off out of it. Nice and smooth. Gives us a little poke. That's fine because he got a better exit. He doesn't he shouldn't? That's totally fine. Front wheel drive. He doesn't want to lose speed for that for the exit there. Totally fine. But he, he, Jardier backed off there without punting into the side of us, as you would if you would. You know that's how you. That's racing. He, he will get us later on. Bit of contact, but completely fine. Right, so he's, he's again, he's up the inside. He's found a way. He's got next to us. No contact with us. He's run wide, but um, he's got two wheels on the rumble strip. It, arguably, that's within the track limits for... I think that's the rules for this for race room. We're squeezing in. We're turning to the next corner, though. Uh, you know, he's given us a little poke to get through, but Perth, that's totally fine. I oh, block this guy. Nice overtake by Jardier. No contact issues there. So there are drivers that are doing clean, normal overtakes, but like I'd say 80% of the overtakes on this were just punting. What? <laughs> what happened to that car? Oh, wait, there's another punt from behind. Let's have a look. There's more criminal activity in this than a... Night out with Jack the Ripper. He just... A. Dornden just took this guy out. What's he doing? He just... <laughs> just rammed him off the track. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is... It's mental. I mean, the whole race is like that. It's not even on me. It's like on everyone is driving like that. If you were like, if this was I, like, I mean, I raise a bad example because the contacts are stupid, but if this was like a real race, all the drivers would have been, would have been like, fine, <laughs> apart from like six of them. Oh man, most mental racing. But uh, there you go. I think we should do, should we do some, uh... I know they're not that bad, Jazz. I, I used to watch, like, BTCC. There's a lot of car contact and a lot of leaning on cars, but there's a difference between leaning on the car and a bit of rubbing and literally missing the brake point to then hit the car on the outside to then overtake them. That's, I think that's the difference. Right, I think we should do... Should we do some Radical SR3 in Assetto, I think? I think we'll uh, go, over to, go over to AC. Well, I, I, I think... 
you just you need to, I, I if I was driving this again, I need to get more base more base pace, more raw pace, which I'd find difficult with this car because of the vague force feedback. Um, and then I just need to block more aggressively, like on the inside of corners, so they so a car can't get up your inside. That would be the only real thing to do. I can't think of anything else that would really work. Yeah, radicals are amazing. But uh, yeah, th thanks for watching this uh, T uh, TCR Cupra <laughs> Cupra VIP race on Race Stream. It was good fun. I I really appreciate being invited to it. It's always nice to uh, get crashed into by Jardia and ruined. I mean, it was worth it for this guys. Punt of the week. Possibly the most criminal move in the history of sim racing. There it is. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. One last time, guys. The most criminal move in the history of sim racing. All right, thanks. Yeah, it'll take me a minute to set up the other stream, Chili. Uh, let's slow down. Here we go. This was one of the best takedowns. I want to see this from the TV view as well. <laughs> Crunch. And the best part is yet to come. Jukes of Hazard. <laughs> Ah, oh, nice takedown. And then... And then... Great Wall of Muscle was established. <laughs> Look at that! One, two, three, four, five, six. Good takedown. That was a good takedown. I enjoyed that. Right. Thanks for watching that. The fact of the matter was I was too much faster than him going into that corner. And uh, we've incorporated Mortal Kombat <laughs> with this simulator. Um, yeah, see you guys in a bit for the next for the next stream. Get, hopefully get some radicals, I think. Till then, goodbye. Click the like button one final time. Get some credits on the screen here. Come on. Come on, credits. Here, credits. No. No, the credits aren't working. Give it a minute. No. No, we haven't got any credits. The credits are broken, guys. We hit that car so hard, the credits are broken. That's it. Yeah, no credits. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we broke the credits. Well, until the next stream, thanks for watching. See you guys. Uh, see you guys in a bit. Get a cup of tea on. Goodbye. <laughs>